Hi, my beautiful friends. We are here to do your no communication reading. It's Ari and welcome back to the channel. Now, these are the most requested videos on this channel. Um, I do take a lot of sensitivity to no communication. So let's get started. On the split, we do have an emperor and the wheel of fortune. A positive change turns up ahead. Whenever you see the wheel of fortune, it's fixed sign energy, right? It's Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, and Scorpio. So um, you can remember it with the acronym ALTS. We see a positive change. Very, very seldom does the Wheel of Fortune mean that it's a bad outcome or there's something that's doomsy, right? So we have a positive change up ahead. The other hand here is the Emperor. It's Aries energy, sun sign to be specific. We have someone that wants to establish control. Five of Cups peaking at the bottom of the deck. Let's start with these two cards. Let's get their feelings. It looks like you are having a positive outcome, Libras, today. That wheel is turning specifically for you as the reading is being done in your sign. We see that you could be changing things by the sign of your, you know, it's by your hand, basically. So let's get into the reading, my beautifuls, with all sensitivity. We get into no communication, the top three cards of their feelings. Can you show me the person connected to our beautiful Libra, the world card? Somebody is upset that something is now over. Now, this can mean it's a new beginning for you. So we have to look at your new beginning in just a second. We place it right here. The world card, everything's majors. The emperor, the wheel of fortune in the world card is major energy. There's a huge shift here with someone that you no longer speak to. Their feelings are they're upset about the world. The ending of a romance, the ending of a relationship to you. They could also be often thinking about it at this time, especially if they often gave you signals they thought of you Libras. We got Gemini energy with the lovers. This person is always going to have a special place in their heart for you even if they're not with you at this current time. The lovers card is also a major arcana. We have nothing here of minor arcana energy. You don't see five of cups. You do not see any. We will get the minors in just a second but this person is looking at a romance with you as it was a friendship that they do uphold. Somebody respects that as you walk forward into your new chapter. They're also like, I do want to say the word regret. It is coming into my intuition, but this person feels most compassionate in the times that they think of you. Okay, they could be a Gemini. We see that here. Anything else from this person's corner? The King of Cups. I told you, I told you. They are in their feelings. This is the king that keeps it all inside, does not yet tell everybody about it. They don't need to, you know, they don't owe it to anybody. But I feel like the one person that they owe it to is the Libra, okay? So we have the King of Cups here. Let's check the bottom of the deck. The Two of Cups, the Queen of Swords, which you could be in today. It's your Libran energy. I feel like you're the Queen of Swords because there is a huge shift that you're dealing with and overcoming it will take a lot of armor as she's wearing a lot of armor in this photo and it takes a certain je ne sais quoi about your personality. People are passing off that they might be um, a little anger during this full moon or you haven't had the best energies around you. I feel like you're just creating boundary lines. You're protecting what is sacred to you. Your energy might be sacred. I feel like this is Correct. I feel like the Queen of Swords is showing up today for a reason, but somebody loves their Queen of Swords in the Knight of Cups. Longing energy of the Knight of Cups. Let's clarify him really quickly. There's water energy with your person. I have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The aforementioned fixed signs, which was Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, and Aquarius. We also have Two of Cups, which is Scorpio for me as a reader. Okay, so somebody could be connecting to you through memories. Um, if it is truly over, this person is not very happy about it. We see the world card is a part of their concern. We have the hermit at the bottom of the deck, which is Virgo to the page of swords. We saw the page of swords throughout our readings yesterday. If you needed to catch up, um, there was a title for all signs yesterday. The page of swords made his appearance there. This is a person who is beginning their page of swords today. They're looking you up. They might be checking you on social media. If you don't have social media here, I feel like they're still trying to check up on you in any way that they can, whether that be through friends, um, even if it's connection to you, writing you. I also see someone here writing something and then deleting it, um, not sending it because they are truly alone at this time. This is the Hermit card. And as you know, if you've ever been a hermit and proud, um, I almost wanna make like a sticker 
to put on my car, hermit and proud. Um, I feel like today they are spending time alone, okay? I, I can't say that enough because they're in the King of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Um, let's go to clarification. They could be a Cancer. We have the Queenie here, um, Queen of Cancerian Energy. Okay, thank you. There's two. We have the Chariot. I saw this in a lot of tarot readings this morning. I was, you know, I didn't think I was going to draw it myself, but I did here. So we have cancer energy of creating plans to travel. This could be a heart to heart with the queen of swords. Okay. For some of you that have recently closed a chapter, maybe closing it and gaining your own momentum are these two cards that you see here. Maybe it is right now. It's a single journey. It's okay to be there. It's okay to learn that you have to do this because you might get a different outcome. I want to get a card for somebody watching today. And I know this is very rare. I want to get a card for somebody who is going on this chariot journey alone. And don't ever be afraid to do this, okay? Because you might say, I'm the only one that's feeling my feelings. It's not true. You have thousands of Libras that are going through this specific situation. They are dealing with someone who's quiet right now, especially in no communication. If they're keeping their energy to themselves, this person could be living with conscious um, consciousness, guilt. They could be living with other things that they cannot tell you about, okay? We do have a king. That king of cups and the hermit is a combination of quiet, okay? This is solitude. Let me show you again. King of Cups and the Hermit. And that was in your reading. What's turning for Libra? We did have the Ace of Swords here. Some clarity about this particular situation is coming in. That could come in in any evidential circumstance. But what is Libra realizing through the World card? Justice and the King of Wands. This person may have been very clingy to you, lived very much in the matrix, and did not understand what your ascension was going through or you were going through. Your ascension could have been too powerful for this person's eyes. A king of wands doesn't realize what an ascended individual is going through. It doesn't mean that you're better than them. It just means that you're getting clear and honest with your story. This person may have not understood those particular points that were happening in you, okay? And it's all leading for a better result. Page of Swords. And the reason why I emphasize that is because as I was explaining to you, I look down and the Page of Swords was here. This person could be concerned that you have moved up very quickly in your life. Finances look good for the Libra. They're also wondering how you're doing. So it's a microcosm of feelings coming from the Page of Swords. Let me switch decks here. Let's check the bottom. I told you, Four of Cups, okay? This person is in regret. You can also read the Four of Cups along with apathy and someone who is living in boredom is that they're going through their spiritual ascension themselves. Even if it's tiny and this person is not as maybe connected as you to the spiritual realm, they are starting to see and get enlightened of why you are actually turning out to be a missed opportunity. They could be going back in the story, checking where they went wrong. So the Four of Cups is here. Okay, for this person's feelings, I have the deck, the Lover's Oracle. We're gonna check it right now for what they would most like to say to you in this no communication reading. The next one is going to be new love. Don't wait for me, please, is one of them. Okay, spirit and angels, a little bit more if we could get to understanding this person. I don't know where to start, especially in explaining. Okay, I don't know where to start. Although they feel connected to you, albeit the lover's card being here is feeling connected to you and you had a divine relationship, there was a falling off point okay and both of you were meant to go on separate journeys confirmation for someone here who really needed to hear that because you were set on different journeys for a particular purpose maybe it was exactly for your ascension too give me a little bit more feelings from libra's person what do they want to say why do i feel i'm sorry i can't read it why do i feel this why okay again four of cups this would be the card to match that and then we have painful memories attached, okay? I feel like this person is doing their cycling around in memories. I feel like that's also why they're checking up on you in the Page of Swords. Let me clarify the Page of Swords with one of these cards for you, okay? The Page of Swords, what is attached to that uh, spying energy? I can't handle your love. It's misspelled there. If you look, the U is before the O in your. I can't handle your love. 
maybe it was too much for them. Um, it overflowed from you, Libras, okay? Authentically, your love was excessive to this person. Maybe they've never been treated that way in their life or there's childhood traumas. They have hurt me, okay? So they could have been hurt by someone recently in their lives, whether this be family, friends, or they went off and found another relationship. Recently, this person has been quite heartbroken. Someone has hurt them. They have hurt me. How could you ever forgive the mess that I've made? Is the last card here and no communication. So we go to new love next because that would probably be the next option for you. I don't think you're going to wait around for somebody like this unless they were your true love. They could be going through something. You are too nice. I don't deserve your kindness at the bottom of the deck. I feel like they're in their feelings. I do want to confirm that here. Let me just get one more card for that. Uh, the Page of Swords in isolation today in connection to Libra. The Four of Pentacles rounds out this reading. I want to thank you for joining me. If this was a resonating reading for you, let me know in the comments. I do love to connect with you guys, especially when it's a personal story most of us have been through. Um, I do want to send you the highest white light energy today and that you are peaceful with these thoughts. Again, I think this person will always have a feeling toward you and there's immense love. There's too much evidence of that. Um, in the future, their future actions can point to them approaching you as an emperor with Aries. So we will see this in a future reading. We are going to have to update this in the way, way future. So I will connect with you guys in new love in the next reading.